where we are going to powerful tools that a Scrivener has and it is it's what I call it's multi-pane uh, functionality and everything is on this tiny icon here okay so let's start by the the very basics um, one of the biggest advantages of Scrivener is the ability to have multiple um, documents for the same project open at the same time in independent windows okay so for example here is the text that i'm writing now here is the um, my notes for that text okay here's this is this is an this is an outline okay and so scriver helps me allows me to just simply have two panes here okay now this is the simplest version uh, uh, of this functionality and it is activated um, and, uh, and it, it is activated either on menu or with, um, with, with a shortcut, okay? But that's the most basic use of this feature, okay? Um, what happens? What happens if you want more than three documents okay so when you're writing a paper typically you I, I have the document that i'm writing and and my notes on the side right easy now what happens when you are revising and resubmitting a paper and you know you need to see what you're writing you need to see the notes and you need to see what you have written well actually there are two options for that uh, one option is you can go to uh, the document that you want to see. So here I have what I'm writing, my notes. So what have I written in the theory section before? I just right click here and I open in a quick reference, okay? A quick reference is a floating window. And as you can see, completely scrollable and editable, okay? So that's a quick reference. Problem with quick reference is that you now have three windows. So when I have three windows like this, what I do is I remove the binder and the inspector, okay? And I arrange the windows as such, okay? So there you go. Now, this is useful if you need to see, uh, here, let me go to, go to my notes, okay? Okay, so this is useful if you need to, to see a whole bunch of text. If you're like, you know, still sort of like doing, doing the outline or maybe you've done the outline and you're writing and you, you need to rethink the outline. So you need to see uh, a large amount of text um, of uh, whatever three documents you are using to write uh, at the same time, okay? Now, when I am writing, that is not the case. Okay, so when I am writing uh, from an outline, I typically only need to see the part of the outline that I'm using and the part of the previous text that uh, I'm improving. So again, I will go here to my previous section and now instead of opening in quick reference, I open in a copy holder, okay? So a copy holder is going to split this window the active window in two, okay? And it's going to put one document here. And again, I can change this, okay? And one document here, okay? This you cannot change, okay? So this is, it's not a separate window. It's just, well, a copy holder somewhere just to hold uh, your, uh, your, your paper, okay? Or your, your document. Now, you can very easily create um, an independent pane with this just by clicking here, okay? And so you have the, um, just as, as if you opened it in quick reference, okay? So again, quick reference is a separate window with the document, allows you to see the, the full document. Copy holder, again, we go here, copy holder is opens up 
in a split window and it allows you to see well part of document and obviously you know this is resizable right so you can have see as much of this and if here i have my my outline you know if i'm working writing like this and then i see okay i need to see more of the outline i can easily move this down and if i want to see more of my previous text i can easily move this up okay so this is just a super convenient way of um, writing using three documents at the same time good okay so that's the basic use of paints however i do want to show you uh, how powerful this can really be in scrivener powerful and customizable okay and so we're going to this menu here okay this is the layouts menu and if you click on the on the um on the bottom arrow here you have some pre-configurations of windows some of all of which are extremely useful okay so the default is you know you just have um one document with the inspector okay so that's you're writing one document sorry I'll show you that in a g fee okay three pane where you have sorry the document and the outline view of your entire project okay the same thing but with the corkboard so this is super useful if you like me use the corkboard to the, the sort of like index cards in the corkboard to write summaries of uh, documents again if you go back to the video where i explained the corkboard these are separate what you write here so you see what i write here uh would this would be a synopsis it does not appear in the document at all right so i could have my synopsis here while i write the document okay let's let's look at some more um we have uh, obviously the corkboard only sorry and then we have the centered outline so this is the outline and this is the dual navigation this is super useful because it basically gives me two navigation menus okay for each window so and again this these are resizable so imagine here i want to see the theory so i click here and you see this changes what's on this window and this changes what's on this window okay so two different navigator menus okay so let's go back to the standard view so the default view okay now what you can do is you can uh, set up your own view so imagine i have it this here and here i want the um, the corkboard okay so i put the corkboard here okay. i want this view okay so very simply i just click here so instead of clicking on the little arrow i click on on the on, on on the icon and it allows me to create a new layout so i go here and i put text and corkboard okay uh, and there we go okay so i create by uh, clicking on the plus sign i delete by clicking on the minus sign here are some options um here if you make changes to the layout you can update it and super cool you can share layouts with other people so you can import layouts from other people and you can ex export layouts from other people okay and here you click use okay so let's look at the practical example i have the default pane and now i click here and see there's the text and corkboard layout that i've made i just click it and there we go okay oops sorry about that okay and there we go okay so let me click here put here okay so see you can you can make your own layouts um, at a glance and they'll be part of the of the menu okay what if i want to, to delete my layouts very simply i can go here and delete the layout okay 
So I just click here to create a layout on the plus sign, delete the layout on the minus sign, and then in the options, I can update a layout if I change it, okay? So this is one of these very small, apparently very small things in Scrivener that is just a life changer. And obviously you can tell me, well, but you know, I can um, open multiple windows with Word. Yes, you can. Just in Scrivener, again, they're all in the same file. You can update them on the fly and you can um, uh, you, you can have all of these um, all of these different views uh, for your documents and they're all connected they all change when you edit one it changes everywhere else and so on and so forth so super super useful feature uh, hope um, you understand it a little bit better uh, and see how powerful it is and uh, good luck on your writing thanks so much for uh, watching and I'll uh, catch everybody on Thursday. Thank you. Bye-bye.